Hey y'all, I got a question because y'all niggas irritate me on the internet. Why do you guys come on post that y'all know y'all don't like just to get in the comments after you watch the whole content to say you don't like it when you already know that this is someone that you don't like? Explain to me the rationale. So I just posted this video of Sukiana's. I love Suki. I love Suki with the good coochie. That bitch is hilarious. And she say this shit that y'all hoes is scared to say. And that's why the fuck I love her. I love someone that is completely out of the box. Don't give a fuck about nobody else's judgment. That's why I love me some Suki. And her music is good. So the whole premise of her video is she's basically saying, why in the hell when niggas get with her, they all of a sudden want to stop tricking. Like before you met her, you was out here tricking, paying for pussy, doing all of this shit that you've been doing for years. Then when you want to get with her, like she said, you want to bring your PS, your, your PlayStation or Xbox or whatever. You want to move in and want to act like a saved and sanctified ass man when you was just out here living it dangerously. Like nigga, you was doing the most. Like nigga, if you like to spend money on bitches, and if that's what you've been doing, and that's your repertoire, don't stop it. Don't stop just because you meet me and you trying to wife me up. She's like, oh, no, bitch, I could do some hoeing, too. In the most, not in a promiscuous way, she's basically saying, like, shit, I want to be a motherfucker hoe. Like, you like throwing monies on hoes. I'll be a motherfucker hoe for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, on a role-playing thing. You know what I'm saying? She's like, don't. If you like to trick and throw money on bitches, don't stop doing it just because you're in a relationship. If you was spending money on females before you were in a re relationship, if you get into a relationship, then you should definitely give your woman some incentive. I understood what she was saying. Here's the video. Y'all niggas be out there tricking, big tricks on all these hoes, paying for coochie, but want to come over here and wife me up. The fuck? Every time, it's this right here. Every motherfucker's time. Bitch, I'm trying to get tricked on too. Baby, I love the tricks. The fuck? Always want to... Y'all like to bring the 2K to my house and move the fuck in. The fuck? What a bitch to cook for y'all and all that, baby. I want to be a... I want to be a hoe, too. The fuck? I miss being a hoe. I'm a retired hoe, bitch. I want to be a hoe for my nigga. So we gonna have to role play or something. Like, I like when a nigga call me up. Come get this money. Yeah, daddy, I want some red bottles. Let me come work for it. Are you ready to suck on something? Yes, I am. Where the money at? Come, bitch, we gonna have to make it... Like, put some spice in our motherfucking life, bitch. Because I'm a wife, but bitch, I need to be a, a whole wife. The fuck? And I don't give a fuck who judge me because y'all pussy ain't like mine, bitch. The fuck? Fuck y'all. Y'all, I don't see nothing wrong with what the fuck she said at all. She's clearly said, I'm about to be a hoe for my man. Let's role play. You understand what I'm saying? She said, I love the tricks. What female? That you know they do not like men that spend money on them. And like to trick their money off on a beautiful ass woman and see her smile because it make her happy. What fucking woman in the face of this earth don't like a nigga to spend money on them? Like, cut it the fuck out. Regardless of how y'all look at it, y'all niggas be paying for pussy. Either you gonna pay it for it up front or you gonna pay for it in the back end. Niggas be like, I ain't never tricked on a bitch a day in my life. Nigga, anytime you meet a new bitch and you go and take her out on a date and you spending all this money in nice ass fucking restaurants, nigga, you don't even eat at these fun fancy ass restaurants. You're doing this shit to impress a bitch. You a motherfucker oodles and noodles head ass nigga. You understand what I'm saying? You a Mickey D's head ass nigga, okay? You don't know nothing about no fine dining or none of this expensive ass shit. The only reason why you're doing this shit is because of a female. Because you try to get some pussy. How the fuck is that not tricking? I love the fact that y'all like to really <laughs> tell yourself that y'all don't be tricking them. Yes, the fuck y'all do. And that's all she's fucking saying. If you been out here spending money on these motherfucking bitches, whining and dining, dating them, treating and beating them, bitch. Motherfucker, don't stop this shit here, okay? If we in a relationship now, don't stop taking me out. Don't stop giving me money for shoes and, like, little stuff just because you done picked up something just because you, you thought I would look good in it. Don't stop doing that shit. Like she said, shit, fuck that, daddy. I want some red bottoms. Let me work for it. That's her man. You understand what I'm saying? So if it's, like, some role play fetish kink ass shit where she's like, shit, I'm about to suck your dick real good and my man about to give me these red bottoms. I work for that. Listen, if that's the type of kink ass shit, I don't want no dry ass 
fuck a relationship. I'ma need me some kinks, some bondage, or something up in there, bitch. Everybody don't like dry ass relationship. People like to bring some spice, some intensity, some flair, if you dare, in your goddamn relationship. That's why y'all be motherfucker getting cheated on. Because the shit that y'all were doing in the beginning to collect and gather these bitches, when y'all get in a relationship with these girls, y'all don't want to do that shit no more. Y'all act like y'all want to put y'all fucking wallet up and shit until it's Christmas, her birthday, or Valentine's Day. Fuck that shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if you know what the fuck I know, okay, the best thing going is hoeing, bitch. If your female is not straight balls to the wall down for you... And being that ultimate freak for you in the bed when y'all in the privacy of your home. Is she not trying to play sh fucking slut for her man? Call him daddy or whatever the fuck it is like that rocks his boats or rocks hers? Y'all lame. Any woman that would sit there and say that when it come down to performing for your man or the man that you trying to make your man. And you ain't going out there hoeing and showing out doing some circus soleil ass tricks. To treat and keep that man, y'all motherfucking lying. Y'all a motherfucking lying about the clothes y'all be buying. Because I'm telling you what, if that man was whining and dining you, taking you shopping, getting you nice gifts, just giving you amazing a level of attention and shit, trust and believe this bitch is going all the way out. She ain't bringing no slum village pussy over there. Because she want that nigga to keep spending that money and keep treating her right. And he, she's doing that with the premise of thinking, this is how my relationship going to be with this man. Because if he treat me like that now and I'm not his woman, it's got to get better when I'm the fucking woman. So that's all she's saying. Now that you done got me, nigga, don't go take the money. Don't go take the money while I'm at home and go out with your boys and go spend it on the hoes and y'all buying bitches drinks and y'all doing this and this. And nigga, if you put up on that bottle, regardless if you directly bought a drink for a bitch or not, if you put up on a bottle and these bottles is three, four, five hundred dollars in the motherfucking club and your mans and them is letting these fucking scraggler ass bitches come and break down on that bottle, nigga, you don't pay for some other hoes drinks. So at the end of the day, if you gonna go do all of that out there, don't keep that money in house. You understand what I'm saying? If you gonna motherfucking trick on some bitches and do any motherfucking thing entertaining no bitches, nigga, you need to be entertaining me because I'm damn sure gonna entertain you. So I don't understand what motherfuckers didn't get about or what was so wrong about the video. And again, like I said, why watch something that you know? I do not like this person. I do not like their energy. They're loud. People say the same shit about me all the time. You too loud. You cuss too much. But I, and I cuss too much, but y'all watch me all the time. And it's the same motherfuckers down in the comments with the same fucking argument that I don't give a fuck about. Because you have to be astronomically motherfucking stupid to know that you don't like something and continue to fucking engage in it. That's mental health right there. That is, that, that's mental health, okay? So, I'm going to need y'all to stop that shit. And also, when I post content on my page, I post content on my page for us to have a good time and laugh and have fun. If I post some shit on my page and you glimpse at it and you don't like it, nigga, don't like it and keep it the fuck moving. Don't bring your ass down in my motherfucking comments saying shit. Unless you want me to collect and gather you. Because you don't have to watch my content. We are trying to have fun. Don't be coming on my page with that serious ass bum ass shit. Go take your miserable ass somewhere else. Leave Suki with the good coochie alone. If you don't like the fact that she's vulgar and she says she got good, good coochie and she talk about hoeing or whatever the fuck. Look, there's somebody for everybody. There's somebody that like that shit. And like he said, if you really believe men like that shit, men do like this shit. Why the fuck do y'all think Sukiyana famous? You think she famous because people hate her? Motherfuckers like that shit. Just because you don't like it, don't mean nothing. She's entertaining to females and men. Okay? There's certain people out here in this world, they just like to watch shit like that because they would never act like that. They would never do anything like that. And that bitch is funny to them. Let the motherfuckers enjoy her content and you go somewhere and jump in a fucking river.